Hello YouTubers, this is another video where we get to start talking about a new software development pattern. Today I want to talk to you about a very interesting pattern that you can use at a lower level, at the programming code level, but you also can use it on the infrastructure level while you're doing some microservices or more granular services uh, type of architecture. Um, so this this pattern is called the facade pattern. The facade pattern is basically the idea of having one system aggregates the functionality of a bunch of other subsystems, right? So to make this a little bit easier to understand, let me give you an example. So you've accepted a, an offer with Microsoft, for instance. You're a new employee. You're sending accept the offer. When you send I accept that offer, either you're talking to a recruiter or an HR rep, the HR rep basically is a facade for a lot of things that happen in the background. They go talk to your manager, they go talk to your uh, the administrator officer, they talk to the financial officers, they talk to security people, the IT, to grant you access and whatnot. This is basically what this um, um, illustration here tries to visualize. You know, uh, you're a new employee, the only person you're talking to is HR, you don't go talk to the financial officers, you don't talk to the administrators, you don't talk to nobody except for your new manager or the HR rep and your the HR rep at this point is the um, facade for the rest of the other things that happen in the background in the new company where you're working to to prepare things for you as a new coming employee right so how do we how do we code that how do we visualize that uh, from a coding perspective so I built here a bunch of things. I have a system administrator. You know, they do some grant new employee access. You have an office administrator uh, and you have a financial officer. But you also have the human resources officer, which is the one that is responsible for aggregating all these services. They're going to go talk to each and every one of those people and have them prepare work for you so you're ready to come in and you have your computer and you have your office and you have your badge and all that kind of stuff. So uh, obviously, so the human resources officer have to know about all these other uh, employees uh, at the company so they can do the work. So let's let's start building here these private members. Let's say we have a financial officer in here. We have um, the system administrator. That's the guy that gives you access to uh, internal systems and whatnot. And you also have the office administrator. There you go. Right. And, uh, and of course, there is the employee itself, the new employee that we want to work with. Right. So let's not worry about that one right now. Let's go in here and build a constructor. And in that constructor, we're just going to instantiate these guys instantiate these guys like this system administrator right and then there is a officer administrator right so so the human resources officer now instantiated have some knowledge about all these subsystems now there is this part where we say onboard and no employee so let's do onboard new employee or let's say start a new process start new employee process right and it takes an employee that's the employee that we want to onboard is already employed we're just preparing things for them right so what this guy does it'll go and call each and every one of those and call the prepare method to have them implement, sorry, to have them prepare stuff for that employee. So it'll call each and every one of those and say, office administrator, prepare a new employee office, just, uh, just the normal stuff. Prepare, get, grant new employee access, all that kind of stuff. This is a very simple pattern. It's very easy to use. It aggregates, you know, subsystems and it allows you to, to keep all your classes and your subsystems doing one thing at a time instead of doing multiple things. All right, we have that part, and then let's just throw here a console. Uh, at the very end, let's throw here a console message that says um, the, the papers are prepared and everything is ready here. Um, employee, name, papers. 
prepared and ready to start. Right? And okay, so we got all these systems. Now let's just use that. So we're going to go in here and going to make a new employee. Let's have the HR rep, HR officer, HR human resources officer. There we go. And our HR officers will take in that accept email from the new employee and start a new process. Right? A very simple aggregation facade here is your human resources officer. I'll take that and do all the work for you. All that employee knows about the company he's working for is the HR officer, the facade, the liaison between him and the rest of the company. So if we go and run our application here, what we expect is that we're going to see a message from each and every officer saying, okay, finances are ready, office is ready, security access granted, and papers are prepared and ready to start, right? So uh, as you can see, this is a, a low-level coding uh, level if you use, you can also use that model in a microservice architecture. You could have a, a your gatekeeper or, or uh, you, you have a special uh, facade microservice that aggregates the functionality of a bunch of lambdas and a bunch of uh, microservices on the infrastructure level. Uh, why, why do we have to do this? The more abstract you have, the more abstraction you have, the more freedom you give yourself to do whatever you want behind the scenes, right? You're you're trying to do as less coupling uh, from a functionality standpoint as much as you can, right? You're also honoring something else. If your HR rep is the function that does all these other things, that's kind of violation of a separation of concern kind of mindset, right? You want to make sure that your class is either doing the work or delegating the work, but not both. If your class is doing both, you're basically complicating things more than they should be. And testing that would be a little bit of a, of a hassle. It would be a little bit hairy there. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's the facade uh, pattern. It's very easy. It's very common. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, uh, please feel free to drop in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in another video. Thank you for watching.